Right now, a trial that could change the future of Apple's money-making machine of apps. Right now, there is a federal court case involving Epic Games, which has games like Fortnite arguing that the Apple Store is an unfair monopoly costing apps up to 30% of their profits. Well, here to put this into perspective for us is cybersecurity expert and attorney, Lisa Garber. Lisa, thanks for joining us on the National Desk. Good morning, Jan. All right, so I'm gonna try to break this down very quickly. Epic suing Apple, and that's because Apple removed Fortnite from the mobile app store. That's because uh, Epic offered gamers the ability to pay Epic directly instead of using Apple's payment system, right? So Epic basically arguing Apple has a monopoly over apps and that these fees and commissions can sometimes be 30% or even higher. How strong do you think Epic's case is at this point? It's complicated, right? And really the problem is Epic Games, which created Fortnite, one of the most popular games in the world, is now going after Apple, one of the most valuable companies in the world, because basically they're saying by forcing us to pay 30% commission, you're acting as a monopoly and it's not fair, it's anti-competitive. If we look to history, courts have generally held that businesses should be allowed to choose with whom they do business. So they would probably go in Apple's favor. But right now, Apple's getting hit from all angles in terms of antitrust issues, anti-competition issues, with its app store, with Apple Pay in the US and around the world. So it's really uh, in, up in the air as to what's going to happen, although Apple does seem to have the advantage. Epic is arguing again, it's anti-competitive and Apple is saying, gamers can go anywhere they want to play this game. They can use their PC, they can use gaming software platforms, whatever they choose. It's interesting you say that because I was thinking the same thing. Apple's a private business, right? So if you don't like it, you go somewhere else. But in this right. case, it has all kinds of issues with antitrust. There's monopoly calls elsewhere, even in Europe. How could this case impact some of those calls? Depending on how the court rules, this could really invigorate other antitrust actions around the world. And most recently, the EU made a preliminary ruling against Apple. Spotify, a music streaming app, came for Apple at the EU and the EU investigated, finding that Apple actually does act in an anti-competitive matter where they're forcing Apple payment usage by these apps. There were also questions about how the App Store Commission issue operates. So we'll see this play out, but so far, the EU has said, yeah, this looks like an anti-competition serious issue. And when it comes to gamers and really just consumers in general, what's at stake here when there is no competition, when you have just Apple or Google or just a few places you can go to download these apps? Apple is saying the reason they charge these high commissions is A, as you said, it's a private company. It developed this software, it developed the Apple phone, it developed the platform, and that's what brings the consumers in. It's also because they vet every single app that goes into its store for security. And as you said, Google is also undergoing this for its Android phones because they also charge a commission. And many companies do this, even software, even app gaming platforms as well, like Nintendo. So the issue is really, what are they going to do in terms of charging consumers if they can't get that 30% commission fee? And why don't we have another, another platform? Why is it just Google and Apple? We just need more competition. And you would think by this time, we would have already had that. That's a question that Apple's posing too. If companies like Epic, the creator of Fortnite is unhappy, create your own platform that doesn't rely on Apple to bring in consumers and to have this really great ecosystem for apps. This is really trying to figure out who's going to win here and it's a battle of huge giants already. But isn't it true that a lot of these smaller, smaller companies that are trying to create their own platforms are being gobbled up by Apple, by all these other bigger companies at this point? That's certainly an argument. And the question still remains, how is Apple handling these smaller, these smaller app developers that are coming into the store? And most recently they changed their policy to reflect arguments coming from smaller apps. They actually lowered some of the commission fees for apps that only make $1 million a year. They said, hey, you only have to pay 15% commission. But if we look at context, 30% commission is actually pretty standard across the guidelines that we see. So Lisa, do you think there will be a time when we're gonna see government regulation over some of this? That's the huge question, Jan. Right now, the EU is coming down hard on big companies like Apple and Google and Facebook. The US, while it has this huge case right now in federal court in California, there are other class actions in the wings for against Apple. And there's also Epic has filed a lawsuit against Google for very similar reasons. We also have some very angry senators in the US going against tech. We have an FTC and an anti-competitive union that's really going after them. So I think we're going to see more 
customer actions and really looking into how these big giants make money. Lisa Garber, always great to talk to you and get some insight on this. This is a, a closely watched case for uh, a lot of consumers and a lot of folks in the tech world for sure. Thank you. Yes, thank you.